Hey everyone, it's me Aaron. Um, I'm going to show you guys how I make uh, or culture lactic acid bacteria uh, from home. Um, you know, bacteria is definitely beneficial uh, for us and also, um, you know, plants and animals as well. Uh, so, my goal is to you know, very affordably culture this bacteria so I can use it in my gardens. Uh, and I might, I might start using it myself as well. It seems to have, you know, some really, really good health benefits uh, that come with ingesting this. Uh, it's like, you know, the same, same idea as eating a yogurt. Um, the culture uh, found in the yogurt is really good for your, uh, your gut health, your digestion, etc. So, um, about say 10 days ago or so I started this process just so I could show you uh, each step involved um, right at the same time because it takes days between each step so um, so here it goes this is this is what I've done and this is what I do uh, I learned everything from watching videos uh, from Chris Trump um, he's very very informative in this kind of stuff uh, natural farming and, and tons of things like this, tons of process like this. He'll, you know, he'll walk you through step by step. It's, uh, it's really nice and appreciated and I hope I can help some folks out just like he has and kind of showing, showing my experience, uh, sharing it. So, um, right now I have what I have here. I'll start from the beginning. I have just a mason jar of water. I didn't measure anything. Um, this is, this is tap water. This is right out of my tap. I haven't checked for pH or anything like that. Um, poured it out right before I started the video, right into the cup. And, uh, I'm going to add, um, maybe a couple tablespoons of, uh, medium grain rice from Goya. Nothing fancy. I'm sure you could get more into this if you really wanted to in your in your process um, I'm just going to show you what works for me so I'm eyeballing I'm not measuring I'm just going to add you know, right around two tablespoons one tablespoon one and a half tablespoons of rice set that aside uh, and I'm going to throw a lid on and this is my rice wash, so I'm just going to shake for right around a minute. Nothing special again here, just agitating. Um, I'm just shaking my rice in my water. Just doing the rice wash. All right, so now that I've washed my rice here, I'll take uh, just a mesh strainer um, and I have a, you know, a two cup measuring cup here that I'll, it kind of fits nicely over. And then I'll just pour uh, the mixture and um, separate the water from the remaining rice. And since I already did this step a few weeks ago, Sorry, about five days ago. This was the rice wash from about five days ago. Uh, so once I've strained, um, I'll take the rice wash and I'll just place in a new clean jar. Um, 
and then I'll take and either rubber band or you know the, the metal mason jar lids have the center punch out uh, and basically I'm just trying to cover it with airflow so a piece of paper um, paper towel um, coffee filter whatever cover the top attach it somehow so it doesn't blow off or whatever uh, and then I just set this aside right up there right on top of my cabinet and just let it sit um, I let it sit and then you know how long will depend on uh, temperatures in your environment wherever you are wherever you're doing this um, it stays about 62 64 in here pretty much all the time so um, that took this took about it was like four or five days and so what I'm looking for is you can kind of see that there is a bit of sediment uh, but that's not what I'm looking for I'm looking for a smell and uh, once this begins to ferment uh, it'll release a nice kind of just soft sweet smell it'll change so once you mix once you place in the jar uh, and cover just give it a smell just to give a reference point it shouldn't smell like much of anything maybe paper um, but now that this has sat and it's begun to ferment it has just this kind of like this uh, slight sweet smell like a fermentation smell uh, and that tells me that this is ready to go uh, if I went too far it would start to kind of smell sour um, and no good if that that happens discard start over um, so rice wash separate rice wash into a clean jar let's sit room temperature um, for three to five days uh, you'll you'll begin to ferment that'll smell that there'll be a slight change in the smell it'll be a little bit sweet and then once that happens uh, then you'll take your inoculated uh, rice wash your fermented rice wash and you'll add you'll you'll make up another jar this jar you'll fill with milk um, whatever you have milk um, 2% whole this is I believe 2% milk store-bought uh, and then I added and then again specific amounts whatever you want uh, your total volume to be at the end just uh, we'll say so two cups here I added one tenth the amount of milk I added um, my inoculated rice wasp rice washed water uh, one tenth of this one one part ten parts of milk okay I'm gonna add that in and then same thing um, cover again loosely with a piece of paper cover it up same spot throw it right back up there room temperature let it sit it's gonna be about the same amount of time as the first uh, phase that that three to five days this should take the same about another three to five days so in total your the whole process should take you around 10 days you know give or take so once I've inoculated this is what you'll begin to see happening um, you'll see a separation occur uh, and I actually I'll share the pictures that I took during this separation over the course of the three days um, and you can you could just see it up here just starting to like clarify somewhat and then the, the white really just started dropping um, and so this top section here this is actually curds and um, if you put this through a further process you can create uh, from my understanding a nice cheese so if that's what you're into save that make some cheese um, but what I want to do is actually collect this here so a couple of things uh, moving forward um, know that this is going to form uh, the wider the mouth on the jar or container that you're using it'll just make it easier to remove the cheese curds so 
simply I'm going to take a fork and I'm going to just kind of cut this in half and then in half again. to make it easier for me to remove it. And we want the liquid, so as much of that as you can keep in the jar is for the best. Um, and now I'm just gonna take all this out. There's my my curds. I'm just set that aside for now. Um, I'm gonna discard this rice water because I already have enough here for for me for a while. strain this mixture um, to clean up my labs. And then this is basically it. Uh, So from here, what I'll do is I'll just take and I'll store it in another jar. And um, I'll add this to my feeding schedule and my plants. Um, I'll probably do, you know, a half a tablespoon to a tablespoon once a week, give or take. Uh, to my plants um, just in water I, I probably won't add this to my food mixture just to make sure they they don't reach toxicity when that happens and uh, I'll water them in and and that's about it this will this will definitely help uh, with the breakdown of the organic material in my soil um, from my understanding too you can totally and I haven't had issues, you can totally hose your plants down with this as a foliar uh, and also a root trench. Um, and you're supposed to be able to drink it as well. I haven't done that yet, but like I said earlier, I think I'm gonna start trying to do that a little bit at a time um, for gut health. Uh, and that's it. So I can store this uh, either in my refrigerator, my refrigerator, just as is, and just throw a jar on it and toss it in the fridge. Um, or if I want to keep it at room temperature, like down, you know, with my plants or whatever, uh, I can add like a half a tablespoon or so of brown sugar in here. Um, and that'll be a nice food source for them, you know, while they're just sitting idle. Uh, and that's about it. Um, labs. Lactic acid bacteria, it's really good. It's it's super cheap, rice is cheap, water is cheap. Um, and it's it's cool, it's cool to see the process. It's cool to be a part of it. Um, so enjoy, I hope this helped. Uh, and have a great one, peace.